Dozens of New York City housing workers have been charged with extortion and bribery. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has details and reaction from NYCHA headquarters in Lower Manhattan. The Justice Department calling it the largest single day bribery takedown in its history. At least 70 current and former NYCHA employees are being charged in this federal corruption case. Prosecutors allege in all the workers demanded over $2 million in bribe money in exchange for awarding over $13 million in work to the buildings. Investigators say the real victims are the 200,000 New Yorkers who live in the impacted houses. And this culture of corruption at NYCHA ends today. Prosecutors also claiming it was commonplace for these building superintendents and assistant supers to extort no-bid contractors for repair work at nearly 100 NYCHA complexes spanning the five boroughs. Public advocate Jemani Williams calling the scam a widespread abuse of power and tenant mistrust. Congressman Richie Torres, who grew up in a public housing complex in the Bronx of the Child, says he's, quote, pleased to see SDNY prosecuting corrupt officials who accepted bribes in exchange for steering small contracts to corrupt vendors. NYCHA also weighing in, saying in a statement, these actions are counter to everything we stand for as public servants and will not be tolerated in any form. I'm in NYCHA. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't have honest people working for us. And federal authorities just announcing a whistleblower program for these NYCHA residents. This allows them to chime in with any uh, misconduct or corruption happening within the complexes. They are able to stay anonymous. This could possibly bring about additional arrests. That's the latest here from Lower Manhattan. Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News.